Now with the reactions known, all we got to do is draw the shear moment diagram. And the way I like to draw shear moment diagrams is always to first draw the beam uh, with the calculated reactions and the loading applied to it. So here's my beam with the loading and the calculated reactions. And now I just need to draw the shear moment diagram following all the rules that we learned way back when in statics. So for my shear diagram, you know I'm going to follow the rules. I'm going to go up here. This will be 3 kilonewtons. Then I'm decreasing linearly at a rate of 2 kilonewtons per meter. And the area of this portion right here is 2 times 6. So this is 12 kilonewtons. That means that I'm going to change from 3 to negative 9. So the final point, if you will, from my graph right here so this is negative 9 kilonewtons and then I can you know quickly figure out that here this zero inter occurs at 1.5 meters because that's how long it takes uh, at a rate of 2 kilonewtons per meter to get to, to, zero, to 0 from 3 then I go up 15 kilonewtons which will take me to 6 positive 6 over here then I'm constant all the way across because I have no loading on the beam. And then I, I decrease down to, to 6, if you will, or back to 0. But you don't need to do that. And then here for the moment diagram, I have a, a linearly distributed shear diagram or linear shear. And so I have a parabolic moment. I'll have a peak here at 1.5 meters. This area here, 1 half base times height, or 1 half 3 times 1.5, is 2.25 kilonewton meters. And my moment diagram here is going to be parabolic starting from zero because I have no moment at this end. So it's going to boom. And it's going to be horizontal here because I have a shear of zero. So my slope of the moment diagram is zero. The slope here is positive three. Then I'm decreasing this area. And this area is just one half nine times 6 minus 1.5, which was 4.5 meters. And so based on just whatever algebra you do, so this is, and this will be equal to 20.25 kilonewton meters. And that means I changed 20.25 kilonewton meters. So from this value, which was 2.25 kilonewton meters. I'm going to decrease 20.25, which will take me to negative 18. And my slope at negative 18 should be negative 9. So basically, I'm going from zero slope to a slope of negative 9, which looks something like that. That was dirty. All right, that's a little bit better. And so here, this is negative 18 kilonewton meters. And then I have this area here, which is 6 times 3. And that is 18 kilonewton meters. And so I'm going to increase to 18, which takes me all the way back to 0. And those are my shear and moment diagrams. All right, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you didn't. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. See ya.